All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office, and today we're going to be talking about the 13 states that side with the Mexican government in the lawsuit against U.S. gun companies. Now, I did a video, uh, this was quite a while ago, and we were talking about how the Mexican government wants to sue uh, U.S. Uh, gun manufacturers for the distribution of firearms in Mexico. It seems to me Eric Holder is responsible for about 99% of those <laughs> anyway. Oh, isn't that funny? So uh, this just out, this is an article, uh, I don't even know who the hell it is, Law and Drive, 50 minutes ago by Elura Nenos. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, before I start talking, st comment on what you think the states, the 13 states are that want to side with the Mexican government so that they can sue U.S. Gu uh, law, uh, firearm manufacturers. Now, the Law for Commerce Act, whatever that thing is, uh, that uh, prevents uh, people from suing a firearm company from the actions of a crime or something else. Not negligence uh, of the construction of it. You're still responsible for that, but you cannot be held responsible for a firearm that you manufactured distributed to a retailer, the retailer sold it to an individual, and that person goes out and shoots someone, that family of the person or the uh, victim of the individual who was shot cannot sue the manufacturer, which is uh, absolute BS. Anyway, it'd be kind of like uh, suing Ford because they manufactured a truck that a guy was driving and killed your family. So the, the same thing, but I don't know. See, the people who are anti-gun, they have this thing in them that they, oh my God, we're greater than thou and we can do whatever we want and yay. All right, so let's talk about this uh, long crime. Uh, convention goers look on as weapon Smith & Wesson booth on April 2015. That's the picture that they showed, the NRA. It's always about the NRA. NRA is so evil. <laughs> 13 states with... Democratic attorneys generals have filed a brief in support of the Mexican government federal lawsuit seeking to hold major U.S. gun manufacturers liable for cartel violence in Mexico. Oh, that's a crux. Okay, here we go. Here is the list of your states. Massachusetts, that Maura Healy, man. She's hot. I got a thing for her. California, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, and Oregon. I probably didn't even have to tell you who those states were before uh, I read them because those are your typical culprits when it comes to the all-out fight against our rights. Uh, the defendants include Smith & Wesson, Beretta, Beretta, Century Arms, uh, <laughs> Colt, Glock, and Ruger. The defendants. And this is ridiculous that this is even happening right now, okay? But this is how stupid these people are. Uh, the lawsuit filed in August 2021 alleges that not only the gun manufactured by the defendant companies caused injuries, but also the cartels are the company's intended target market. I don't recall ever seeing a cult manufacturing commercial, uh, you know, going after the cartels as clients. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> the defendants argue that the protection granted to them under the 2005 Protection of the Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, PLICA. Uh, it's interesting that I had an argument one day with a lady who was, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, campaigning for Hillary Clinton because she is big on removing this. Uh, Joe Biden, Brandon, he is big on uh, eliminating this thing. And it's just like anything else. Um uh, they go, no other industry uh, is, is uh, safe from f filing a lawsuit. Yes, they are. No one has a right to go out and, again, sue Ford for the actions of someone else. It would be thrown out so fast, but because it's a firearm deal, well, man, people think it's fair game. Uh, <laughs> the state, and I can't remember that. However, I'm going to put the link down to the article below. They deserve all the credit. However, say that they have strong interest in preserving the remedies afforded by the common state common law and by state statutes, and that there is a longstanding precedent for Mexico's lawsuit. In their brief, the Amici, I have no idea what the hell that means, point to the statements made by then-Senator Jeff Sessions 
uh, and Senator Ray Larry Craig when arguing for support of PLCA. Urging votes in favor of the statute noted that the Michi City Sessions emphasized that the plaintiffs can go to court if the gun dealers do not follow the law, if they negligently sell the gun, if they produce a product that is improper, or they sell to someone they know should not be sold or did not follow the steps to determine whether the individual was eligible to buy a gun. The, and, and it's right. Um, if they go out and knowingly sell a firearm to, say, uh, you know, the gangbangers, and knowing that they're going to go out and use, and they have to know that this is, and the courts have to prove that these companies knew this. And it's just like uh, when they had the thing up there in uh, Newtown. Uh, they were trying to say that, uh, you know, I don't know, Brett or whoever uh, made that uh, sidewind of, <laughs> God, I'm an AR guy. Um, Anyway, they had to prove that that company manufactured the gun knowing that this guy was going to go out and, and cause harm with it. Oh, Bill is not going to protect them from a lawsuit brought against them from the harms resulting from that misconduct. Okay, in their 26-page brief, the Amici argue that Mexico's current lawsuit is just the type of litigation that Sessions and Craig assured their fellow senators would remain viable, per the brief about the plaintiff's claims. Quote, they are precisely the sorts of actions that PLCA sponsors sought to preserve. The defendant's construction of PLCA, one that would bar these lawsuits, is thus not only inconsistent with the statutory text, but also with PLCA's findings and purposes and with congressional intent. Anyway, long story short, guys, the, if, if this is not uh, just thrown out of court, it's going to lend itself to a lot of bad shit down the road. The Connecticut Attorney uh, General William Tong issued a statement following the filing of the Amicus, Amicus brief saying PLCA is not impenetrable, shield against all legal responsibility. I don't get it. <laughs> That's like uh, uh, the ammo manufacturer. I guess they're responsible for it also. Wow, they should have done more to prevent somebody who they never knew or illegally would go out and start shooting up something. Raising a favorable outcome in the Sandy Hook litigation, Tong said gun manufacturers who deceive consumers and violate state consumer protection laws can and should be held accountable. What do you want from them? Mr. Tong, what exactly do you want from these guys? Oh, they should stop selling any fine of firearms. That's the only way to do it. And we have to ban and confiscate and we got to buy back and we got to do everything we can, which is what they do. Vice President and General Counsel of Firearms Trade Group, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Lawrence G. Keene, has called Mexico's lawsuit a farce. The culprit for the lawlessness ravaging American southern neighbor isn't the manufacturing facilities in the United States, Keene said. It is in the halls of their own government and with the ranks of their own military. So anyway, um, they've got a link here to the brief. I'm going to put that down below so that you can see that as well. And then I'll go ahead and uh, put the link down to this thing. Y'all let me know. This It's always the same culprits. It's those states who are democratically run. They have the worst crime in the entire country. I wonder why, because they won't put anybody in jail. Oh, stop it. shaking my head because this is some of the reasons why I'm so frustrated with what's going on in, this, in our country today. There's too many assholes. We got to vote them out. KB32, let me know what your thoughts are on this video down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. Got something cool. What the hell to do with it? I got a whole stack of bipods and we're going to be looking at the fab defense uh they got this thing called the spike and it's really a really good competitor to a lot of good tripods out there or bipods and we're going to do that tonight y'all be good kb32 i'm out of here boom